joy that came my way. How you took away my crown, all the things that had me down. I thought of all those times I just walked around in shame. Now I stand before you, Lord, with nothing but praise. giving you a window. There are times when you're going to see some things that you really wish weren't there, that you really wish you didn't have to see. But the Lord says He's giving you a window. He's giving you a window of insight. He's giving you a window of wisdom and even tools to unlock and undo that which has formed. So the Lord says, don't be dismayed. Don't be afraid. Whatever you see, know that it's yours to take. It's yours to undo. It's yours to overcome for a divine recovery and a dismantling of that which should no longer be in place, says the Lord. Now, we have had, and let's just turn to Luke 15 first. And I'm going to go over these parables. I'm not, I'm not going to teach them yet. I want to go over every one of the parables of recovery. Because we've all prophesied it today. In one chapter, we have the lost sheep. We have the lost coin. We have the product. We have the loving father. And we have the elder brother. All in one chapter. And what you don't want to miss in this one chapter is you are reading about the overabundant love of God that recovers. Amen. Amen. It is his overabundance of love that recovers. Yes, Lord. He is interested in every one of these. Not just one of them. And he wants to recover every one of these some way. We have had prodigal sons. I mean, and I think many of you out there have had prodigal sons and daughters. Lift your hands and let's see it. Uh, look, it's a way of life. The enemy wants to take your inheritance. And you have to remember there is a principle that God gave Abraham when he made covenant with him. When his crazy relative, he had adopted Lot as his son. And his crazy relative got taken by, over by five kings. And taken to, uh, from Beersheba all the way to Dan. And God made Abraham go and recover him. Well, sometimes we get some crazy relatives you just love to leave gone and go on into the next nation. But that isn't how God works. He has a heart for recovery. Yes. Everybody say recovery. And one of the greatest joys you find is when something that's been lost comes back. It's just really exciting. It doesn't matter what it is. If it was lost, it came back. How many of you were once lost? 
I hope if you don't raise your hand, you need to come up here. They need to get you help. <laughs> Quit forgetting that you were once lost. That's what happens with religion. It makes us forget where we came from That's right. and what we came out of. 